never know how much I love you never know how much I care when you all right everybody well I'm back again um, as you can tell um, all the mics in the way here but uh, there we go ah, didn't wait it's in the way right but anyways I'm back today to do another review but I'm not going to review a cigar. I'm going to do light it up. I'm going to go over some lighters, uh, different lighters, different styles. Uh, nothing's right, nothing's wrong. It's uh, whatever you prefer to use, use. But I'm going to go over some different things that I have. Um, I filled them, I, I filled them all up, let them. So hopefully they're going to light. One was acting up, but uh, I'm just going to give you an idea of what's out there that you can use, and uh, tell you what I think and what I use, and, and that's it. And my face is a little blue. And um, there's nothing I can do. I can do, but I'm not going to. Um, it's just an LED light I have on to give some more lighting in here. So, anyway, so let's get started. So the first thing that um, you could use definitely for lighting cigars, um, I personally don't use them um, just because I prefer a quick light. Um, is uh, matches, long stick matches. These are these I got gifted to me by East Coast Cigars, one of our fine sponsors, Rich. Um, basically, all they are is just a long wooden stick match. Strike it, light it, away you go. The reason I really don't use them a lot is, um, A, first of all, the longer sticks, obviously you wouldn't want to use books of matches because they let off uh, sulfate off the books of matches and you wouldn't want to use that with these. The wooden sticks are a lot longer. As you know, it takes you longer to light a cigar than it does to light a cigarette or anything else. The reason I don't use them, again, is just I don't want to sit there and, and wait and wait and wait. I have no patience. So that's why I don't use them. But you can definitely use them. I know a lot of people take it. And what they'll do is if your cigar comes in cedar sleeve or if you just have cedar sleeves around, people tear them up, light them with a the match, light the cedar sleeve, and light the cigar that way. That's cool too. That's just just as fine. I like I said. I personally, I just don't do it because I'm lazy. So, anyways, um, another one you can use, and this is a this is a, a tatuaje, is a uh, is a, a blue flame. But the nice thing with this is you can't. I don't know if you can see it in there. Maybe you can. But this has butane. This is not lighter fluid. It has butane, and I do have a Zippo around, but I don't know. Uh, I couldn't find my Zippo, but I know Zippo, they make an insert that you can take out the uh, the insert that has the lighter fluid, and you can insert one to do butane and refill it. That one I, I do have laying around, I don't know where, but I hardly lose use it, obviously, because I don't know where the hell it is, but they do have that. But this one is, I, I like a nice soft flame. Um, I've been trying to use it more and more. This one I don't believe, if you see in there, there's, eh, you really can't. It, it, it's not refillable. There's a, there's like a, a T cross in there where you couldn't get a, a, a fuel in there to light it up. But that's just a throwaway. But it is butane, so uh, that's that's pretty cool. You know, I like the soft flame. It's really nice. I think a soft flame is really good on a Corona, on a Lancero, and even a Robusto. I'm not saying you can't use it on bigger sizes. So don't send me a whole bunch of hate mail saying what the frig are you talking about. Let me explain. The reason I think it's better on those cigars is because they're smaller ring gauge, and with a torch, as you'll see earlier, even a single torch, you could really scorch up the wrapper and scorch the tip of that cigar. Well, with a, a soft flame, it's it's a lot more uh, soft. Like I said, softer. It's not as dense as that 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 torch. So, I think a blue flame is nice for any cigar, but preferably on a Lancero Corona or even a Robusto. But uh, so that's that's the soft flame. Again, you know, sticks, soft flame, and like I said, Zippo makes it too. Then you have some things like a, a single, a single, uh, single torch cigar, uh, cigar lighter. This one is uh, refillable as well, and you'll see down there the positive and negative. Basically, what that is is adjustment setting for your flame, and also when you want to fill it, turn it to negative, bleed it, press, you know, press that valve down. Fill it up with some really good butane, you know, and be careful what you get. There's some garbage out there, you know, and then turn it up, light it, and it should work. So, but this is a nice, hopefully it'll come in, but 
There you go. I don't know if you could see that. There you go. It's a nice single flame. The bad thing about this is uh, this guard should come over, I think, more this way to get your cigar, you know, to get to your cigar. But it works good. I use it quite quite a bit, you know. And uh, now it's not working. Ah, there it goes. But uh, I use it quite a bit. I like it again. I think it works great on Robustos, Coronos, and Lanceros. Coronas. Um, just on a smaller ring gauge, it's, it's, a, it's a lot better. And it's pretty badass if you ask me. But uh, So that's, that's a single torch, you know. Then you can get into some other lighters, you know. I got one here, which is, uh, this is the El Tigre. I had this for a while. Now, if this lights, I had, to, I had it working earlier. This one's old. I've had this for a while. Uh, if it lights, I'd be surprised. But basically, this is a, a dual torch. In other words, there's two flames, two jets um, inside there. And uh, listen to that bad boy. I got it pumped up so it's working. Let's see if I can get it so, so you can see it. There you go. See the two jets right there? I'm going to torch my friggin' IMAX screen. Anyways, um, I need to turn that down. But uh, I'll deal with that later. Same thing. Refillable. I really like this cigar. And, uh, this cigar. This lighter, and I'll tell you why. I like the way it angles out. So it really lets you get to your cigar. really lets you toast it up well. You know, so you have no uh, no burn issues. And I don't know if you can see it. says El Tigre in there. Right here. Right there. Yeah, maybe not. So, uh... Basically, that's just a double torch. Good for any size cigar, if you ask me. It doesn't, it really, you know, it really doesn't matter. Again, I wouldn't use it on a Lancero Corona, but you do what you want, okay? And price ranges on these things that I'm showing you are from, again, two bucks, you know, up to 60 bucks. Again, it depends on, you know, what you really want to spend. But remember, Whatever you light your cigar with, you light it. I know people say don't light it, you know, with a Bic lighter. But, hey, listen, if you're in the pickle and you don't have anything to light it, go ahead and light your fucking cigar with a Bic. It's got to get lit. Purge it. Light it. Purge it. Blow through the cigar. Get that funk out of there. Whatever. It's no big deal, really, guys. It's not. Things are made to seem worse than they really are. It's about enjoying your cigar. That's what it's about. So uh, another nut lighter that I have is a triple flame, and this one has a pretty uh, pretty nifty light on the end of it there. So uh, just again another novelty lighter, but uh, this one I can show you the three jets. You see there, it's got three jets. You know, and periodically you'll need to get in there with a Q-tip. You'll need to clean out the jets and the little sparker. Sparker, you'll need to clean it as well. Same thing, refillable, but. Uh, this one ain't gonna light, is it? She wants to. Hmm. Might have crap in there. Who knows? There we go. We got a little bit of it, right? But anyways, that's a three flame. Now these things, they work great on the big boys. 54, 56, 60, 70s. They work great on the bigger ring gauge cigars. And why is because you can heat up that bit bigger area a lot faster than you can with a single torch. I personally don't think you should be using a single torch on the big ring gauges. I mean, you're going to be there for a while. I'm not saying you can't. I'm saying my personal opinion, you should. But you do whatever you want. You got to do what you got to do. So that's a that's a triple flame. And there's different triple flames. I got that one. This one I really like. This is my uh, Perdomo gunmetal tabletop. And uh, as you see there, that's triple flame. And this bad boy, man. This holds some fuel. This is a. Uh, this is nice. This this is one of my favorites. Um, I keep down here in the man cave, and uh, I really I really I really like this uh, this lighter a lot. You know, it's made by Vector. If I can get the light there, there you go, Vector. They make good quality stuff, as well as a whole bunch of other people as well. So, uh, but I, I do like this tabletop lighter. But one lighter before I get to the tabletops, I kind of jumped ahead is a lighter that you can get let me say this to you this way if you're married or you have a girlfriend that you live with here's real simple to get a great lighter take your girlfriend or your wife to target walmart whatever you have near you go to the uh section where they have the creme brulee set buy her a nice creme brulee set and in the creme brulee set you're going to get this tabletop lighter the lighter is nice because it has a nice window to gauge your fuel, how much fuel you have in there. And the thing with this is, 
it's not only it's not only a torch lighter if I can get it to work there we go it's not only a torch lighter but it's not gonna work it's also a nice blue flame lighter this lighter it's a cat's meow that's all I'm gonna tell you for a cheap I think $19.99 you can get a creme brulee set and you can get this lighter refillable as well it's all black so, oh there you go you can see it you can't beat it your wife gets the set you get the lighter everybody's happy so there you go too bad Valentine's Day is over guys you could have uh, Mike Stogies could have told you what to get your wife and everybody would have won <laughs> but anyway so that's a nice I like this lighter a lot it's got a nice little lock button so if you want to lock the flame you can do that as well but like I said really cheap I know uh, my buddy on Stogie 401 Mikey he has the same similar to this and he, he he loves the lighter as well so that's another one now there are other lighters this is what I have what I'm going over with but now I got two tabletop lighters and again there's a whole bunch more out there um, I showed you the Perdomo one that was uh, free torch one of my favorites this one is my favorite hands down tabletop lighter period my favorite and uh, that's her in all her glory now I think this one if I'm right if I can remember where I got it I know I got it at my B&M Nate's but I think this was or no 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 I'm lying to you I didn't get this at Nate's Daryl got me this and um, I can't remember who makes it but I'll try to find out before I put the post up and put it in the post but this lighter is nice what you do is turn the valve on lighter up and you can adjust you hear that how high you want it how low you want it and then just turn the valve off I love 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 this lighter um, one of my favorite tabletop lighters I leave it down here in the man cave and it works great the thing with the lighters is you gotta really you gotta take care of them they're like your cutters you know you gotta clean them up you gotta you know every, there's some people that says you don't don't bleed them some say you do when my lighter runs out I bleed it I find if I don't bleed it I have a problem now the problem could be maybe I was using some crappy fuel I'm not gonna say the name of the fuel I use but it, I don't believe this is crappy this company is very reputable I just found that if I don't bleed it I sometimes get air in there and I have that issue so I always when it runs out I bleed it get all the air out turn the valve all the way to the off position fill it turn the valve halfway and light it nine times out of ten I never have a problem now I'm not saying you have to bleed it you don't I'm telling you what I do this is my opinion what I do so I do it that way it doesn't work so if you want to try it that way I think you'll come out with the same results or similar but again remember that's just a quick shot of lighters there's a ton more out there remember none's right none's wrong I'm sure there's gonna be people who disagree with what I'm saying and that's okay you're entitled to your opinion as well when you're in a jam and you want to enjoy a cigar light your cigar with what you can light it with if you're at a campfire and all you got is a friggin campfire then use the campfire but be careful you don't burn yourself <laughs> but it's all about enjoying your, your your cigar you know everybody's got their preference what lighter they like what color they like I have my preferences and I'm sure every other blogger does as well and again nobody's right nobody's wrong so those are just some quick ideas of different ways to light your cigars I hope you like the uh, lighter review and remember as I always tell you enjoy your smokes so this is the great Gordo 6x60 signing off I'll see you folks very soon